Hi guys and welcome to Suzuki's amazing discoveries to help fight cancer. Very quick videos are going to be, you know, really short. I know you're relieved now. <laughs> anyway, so this one is just basic to my suit, but you know, this is 20p. You know, they're not very, it doesn't have to be anything posh, you know, as long as it's tomatoes <laughs> you know tomatoes are so full of antioxidants and this soup actually have garlic in it you know garlic's really good for you too and you know I was just being drawn to all of these foods and I was just filling my cupboard up instinctively <laughs> even you know I didn't even even though I was ill the, the medics told me I wasn't ill and you know but mother nature was telling me that oh you know needed all these all this goodness you know to help me with the antioxidants and everything and you know this is it you know it, it's, even though I eat I've come across as you know saying I eat healthily you know I'm not perfect and I haven't been looking after myself I know I have to be honest and you know I was a binge drinker for many years and you know which obviously has damaged all my all the you know all you know all the damage made by free radicals you know damage done by free radical if you imagine it like an apple when you cut an apple in half and you leave it and it goes you leave it on the side you know of a table or something and then you go back after a while and it's gone all brown and looks disgusting that's the like effect to the DNA by free radicals because it's attacking it you know and um, I, as I said, I wasn't looking after myself, even though I wasn't drinking at that time, because um, I, you know, just didn't feel up to it. Because I've gone on holiday, and so usually I'm not sloshed every night, <laughs> but I um, was so in Marbella, and I just didn't even drink that much alcohol. I know it sounds, I'm not like, as I said, I just didn't. I'm putting myself in rehab now. I've gone completely alcohol free. I did say I was going to have cider and black. Because even before I, knew I was ill, I started putting black currant in everything. I don't know why it's instinct, I suppose. Uh, you know, it all. You know, it's just so strange how it's all happened. But obviously, alcohol's full of sulfites, and what the hell's in sulfites? It's a chemical that they don't even tell us what it actually really, what's actually exactly in it. You know, it's all very sort of top secret. So it's got to be something dangerous. You know, and I've been putting all this in my body. It wouldn't have caused the cancer, but toxic, sorry, but it would have helped, not helped it. I could have done a lot more to help myself, but it's no use beating myself up now. It's never too late, you know. <laughs> so I'm just trying my best to go with what Mother Nature's been trying to tell me all along. And I also have a lot of allergies to greens. I've en ended up in hospital when I was pregnant with one of my daughters because I couldn't breathe because I ate a cabbage. <laughs> And I thought that would be good for me. And it wasn't obviously because the government are spraying all the crops, you know, with all these pesticides to make them grow faster, as I said. So, you know, it didn't do me any good. So it sort of put me off eating it. But I did eat tinned. You can still eat tinned. Still just as good for you to eat tinned, you know, vegetables and everything like that. And obviously frozen food. And that's why I called the proje Project Frozen because frozen foods are just as good for you, you know, as fresh and obviously organic's the best all the way. But there you go, you know, it's never too late and it was helping me and I have, you know, I do love fruit. I can eat fruit, you know, apples, you know, I'm also, they had an effect on me, <laughs> would make me feel sick. But I'm going to, I don't care now, I'm going to carry on, I'm going to just start eating them. Apples are so good for you. I just wanted to say about the oats that that they have the most highest total of you know antioxidants in their grains. They're not most of the oats, so that's why porridge oats are really good for you. And I was naturally drawn to that. Always have been. So I'm glad I was eating all my porridge oats, getting me oats as it were. <laughs> but you know, as I said, I'm no beating myself up now. But as I said, <laughs> you know, my um, breast toxic that I originally had was from caused by hormonal you know sort of cancer so I hate saying that word but there you go and um, you know I would have got it anyway but I could have done more to help myself but you know as I said 
what's done is done but it's never too late to undo it hopefully I'm going to try my best so um, thanks for watching Susie Q and Man and you know if ever you just fancy some soup then you know go with what your body's telling you because it could be trying to save your life <laughs> like it is for me so thanks for watching my videos and I hope you're liking them so thank you ciao for now